Alright, so whenever a new camera comes out, everyone's first question is... So how much megapixel? Does it have more than the previous model? Currently, companies like Sony are releasing cameras with 61 megapixel, but... Are we really gonna need that much? Does more megapixel mean better result? So today, I'm gonna compare a 12 megapixel camera with a 61 megapixel camera with a 33 megapixel camera to see how much difference there is. So I took three photos with the same lens, same settings, same place, same location, same everything. But with three different cameras, a 61 megapixel camera, a 33 megapixel camera, and 12 megapixel camera. I'm gonna show them to you right now, but I want you guys to comment down below which one you think looks better. Does the 61 megapixel camera really stand out? So here we go. Here's photo A, photo B, and photo C. Now all three of them side by side. Now I'm gonna wait for you guys to comment down below which is which. You're done? Okay. Photo A was a 12 megapixel camera, A7S3. Photo B was a 33 megapixel camera, A7 IV. And photo C was a 61 megapixel camera, A7R4. Honestly, I didn't expect A7S3's 12 megapixel camera to be any good. I never used it for portraits before, but it's 100% usable. I mean, if you already have A7S3 for videography and you want another camera for photography, I think it's not so necessary at this point. It's five, it's five times lower than the A7R4, but it's still, still so good. Even though I've seen the photos on the 27 inch monitor, I didn't notice a significant difference. They all look good in my opinion. What do you guys think? I mean, even the dynamic range. I mean, the dynamic range looks the same too. Maybe because they all have full frame sensor. And without pixel peeping, they doesn't look bad at all. Really not bad at all. But the big W is for the A7S3 though. And in order to make a better comparison, I did the same thing one more time. But this time, outside the house. Maybe to see a bigger difference in dynamic range or something. And yet, I couldn't see any significant difference. I even shot A7S3 photo in a small JPEG. The A7R4 photo, which is the 61 megapixel camera, is crazy high quality, even with a massive crop. Wow. Even with this much crop. But I kinda can say it's only visible when you zoom in a lot. And with that amount of resolution, you can go as deep as you want. It's a nice option to have. When you zoom, A7S3 starts to show the low quality. But not on the A7R4. And sometimes you really need something like that. I think if you're a beauty photographer, or you want to do a lot of retouching, this is the best choice. A7R4 is pretty good too. They're very close, but A7R4 really stands out when you zoom a lot. And by a lot, I mean a lot. A7R3 is not the best option for retouching. I quickly retouched both of these photos, but to be honest, you can get a lot of texture on the skin with 12 megapixel. But if you're not very into high skin retouching, it's even easier on a lower resolution to retouch comparing to a very high resolution. Let me put it this way. When you have more detail, you have to do more. And the most noticeable difference for me was the file sizes. A7S3 on compressor is almost 20 megabytes, and on the A7R4 it's 120 megabytes. But in the end, I think 90% of the time, you're not gonna need a 61 megapixel camera. Buying a high quality glass or good light would change your photography a lot more than buying a 33 megapixel camera over a 12 megapixel camera, for example. That's it, guys. It was a quick video. I'm still very curious to know if you guys seen a huge difference between the shots or not. Also, I'm gonna link the raw photos down below for you guys too if you wanna pixel pick by yourself. That's it. See you guys in the next video.